Hi guys, I'm Kate, the Plastic Free Mermaid. Today I'm going to teach you a few recipes on how to make your own products so you can avoid plastic packaging and also those nasty chemicals that slide into the store-bought products. For more information and modification, just look below and I hope you enjoy. So now we'll make some almond milk. So this is very important if you like to drink milk in the morning. A lot of us go out and we get coffees made at cafes and they have coconut milk or soy milk or almond milk packaged in those plastic cardboard boxes um, with the little plastic screw top lid. Now, in theory, that sounds great. How convenient that they have a variety of milks to choose from for your latte or your cappuccino. However, first of all, these milk containers are a jumble of mixed resources. So it's paper on the outside, then they've probably got some sort of foil or likely plastic lining it to keep it from seeping through the cardboard. On the top, they've got the little plastic nozzle bit. Um, so that's just really hard to separate, so it's gonna be hard to recycle, um, meaning it won't get recycled because our recycling folks are already very overwhelmed. So that's the one, that's what first tipped me off to avoiding these milks. Once I started looking into it a bit more, I noticed that a lot of the ingredients in these boxed milks are not ideal, not super nutritious, not super good for us, so they're not fresh. They have stabilizers, preservatives, different things to help it sit on a shelf for months and months and months and not go bad. Eh, do you really want to drink that? Then um, once you open it and pour it into your coffee, it sometimes separates and gets weird looking. Mm, a little bit sketchy. I always think it kind of tastes sour and bitter. Skip the mess. Skip the mess in the recycling bin. Skip the mess in your body. Um, just make your own. And if you're out, maybe take your coffee black. Um, a little bit healthier anyways, less calories, less sugar, less fat. I could go on and on about reasons why you should make your own almond milk, but you're probably converted. You're probably like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get to the recipe. Well, all right, let's do it. <laughs> what you'll need is two cups of soaked almonds. I soaked these overnight and they're ready to go. Two to four dates. Yummy little dates. That's going to give it some sweetness. A teaspoon of cinnamon. I've got these beautiful natural little cinnamon, cinnamon quills. So we'll break a few up of those into our blender. Um, I like to do three cups of water. Now you can experiment with this. Some people like their almond milk a little bit thinner, runnier, so it goes further. They can use it for longer. Some people like it really thick and creamy. So, up to you. Many ways to mix up this recipe, but this is my absolute favorite. I think it's so delicious. Um, this doesn't last long in its fresh state, um, probably under a week. So you want to make small batches if it's just for you, or be generous and share with your house or share with your friends but definitely keep refrigerated. Okay, let's make it. You'll also need a nut milk bag. So this is just a very, very fine mesh. And once we blend all of this stuff together, then we're gonna squeeze out through the nut milk bag our nut milk. Two cups of our soaked almonds. The reason we soak these is it makes it easier to digest and the almonds blend better. They're all, they've absorbed tons of water. They're all juicy and ready for milking. Two dates, a little bit of cinnamon, so one teaspoon, that might be a lot for you. We love cinnamon in this household, so maybe start with half a teaspoon, and if you want to add more, you're welcome to. And then three cups of water. You might have to blend this in stages if it doesn't all fit, which is totally fine. So you want to blend this to get very, very fine. Great. All right, so this is looking nice and milky. Now begins the messy part. Oh yeah. So now we have our milk bag, which are available at any health food shop, bulk food stores, online. So you want to take your bowl that you soaked the almonds in, works, rinse it out if there's little flakes. And then we are just going to simply Pour the nutty mixture into the nut milk bag over the bowl. We're then going to squeeze the nut milk from the bag and then eventually pour it into this lovely little glass bottle or jar, whatever works for you, with a nice seal and then store it in the fridge. Because I like to make my milk go a little further, but I can only fit two cups of water into this blender, I'll milk about half of it, add more water, and then milk that as well. So here we go. Oh yeah. 
almonds on, our, on their own are quite sweet, so you might not even feel like you need to add the dates or the cinnamon. I think it adds a nice flavor. And you just really need to use your hand muscles here to get all of the liquid out as much as you can. You don't want to contaminate the clean milk with your nutty hands, so if you do touch it, just rinse them. Rinse them clean, and then you may proceed with the milking. All right, so that seems pretty dry in there. Hard to get too much more out. So I'll finish my last cup of water. All right, so we've now um, milked all of our nuts. <laughs> Um, and we've got this lovely almond meal, so what's left over is this um, almond meal. And it's quite moist still, so you could freeze this and use this for baking another time. Um, but I don't like to risk it going off, so you can spread it into a pan and then just bake it in the oven on really low heat just to dry it out. That's all we're doing, we just want to dry it out. Um, so we can do that in the background. Meanwhile, we've got our beautiful almond milk here. And yes, I got a little excited and there's milk everywhere. Woo! <laughs> okay, so hopefully I can do this. And if not, you'll see me make even bigger mess. Oh, nailing it. Concentration. There we go. A big delicious bottle of fresh homemade almond milk. Ta-da! So you can add these to your smoothies, you can make hot chocolates, you can make chai lattes, um, just a really nice sweet little drink to have in the fridge. Yum!